Now in this video, we explain you how to measure the oils using this water sparks digital liquid flow meter. We have already filled some oil in this tank. You can see here, this is the viscosity level of oil. So let's go measure this. Though we have already reset it once. When we open the valve, the oil flows in and the meter will get automatically on. I'm just going to open the valve now. As it is filling very slowly, because of the oil's dense viscosity. So now, we are going to turn on the motor. Now it is filling fast because of the motor's force. To see the jar filling without overflowing we turned off the motor and started to fill in gravity. As it takes much time to fill on gravity turning on and off the motor immediately to fill the jar. Still, it is not filled so again turning on and off the motor immediately. Now the 20 liter jar is filled, but the flow meter shows 21 liters, 0.31 milliliters. Let's see how to calibrate the flow meter for this oil. Now it displays 1.000. Since the flow meter is showing higher readings, we need to reduce the flow meter speed to run slower. We need to calibrate the values by making less. Usually this flow meter shows as 1.000, which is set for water. So now we are going to change it to 0.800 or 0.900. Now let's try 0.800 to check and set it correctly to get accurate readings for this oil. If necessary, we shall change the reading again. I press this calibration button to toggle this blinker to the first digit. Use the reset button to change the values to zero. Again press the calibration button to toggle the blinker to the second digit. Again using the reset button keep it as 8. So that the value will be 0.800 and long press the calibration button to set it. After the calibration again, we are going to measure this oil using the water sparks digital liquid flow meter. Now the flow meter has been reset for the new readings after the calibration we open the valve and turn on the motor. Twelve liters have been passed now we stop the motor and let's see the readings through the gravity. Till the jar gets filled we turn on and turn off the motor to avoid the overflow. This time the jar gets filled but the flow meter shows the readings very less so again we have to calibrate the flow meter to adjust the speed. Do the same calibration process instead of 0.8 keep the values as 0.9 to increase the speed of the flow meter. Reset the flow meter and let's start the experiment again with the new calibration. Now turned on the motor and the jar is getting filled. The jar is getting filled faster. Now jar filled 97%, so I turned off the motor. See the flow meter value showing 19.773 as there are few bubble contents in the jar which will accumulate 200 or 300 milliliters of liquid, so the flow meter reading is accurately fixed in the calibration of 0.900. So now this flow meter has been calibrated for this particular liquid, and hereafter for this liquid, it shows the exact readings. Thanks for watching the video.